I went to my undergrad degree thinking I was going to do psychology and forensic science, uh, I guess sucked in by the CSI that was the rage at the time. And I realized when I was there that that wasn't something I was that excited about. Um, but I was excited about how cells work at the very fundamental level and was introduced to DNA damage responses, so how the cell maintains its information and how when that changes, that can cause cancer development. My lab studies fundamental aspects of DNA damage repair. We're especially interested in how radiation can be combined with immunotherapy to improve both of those treatments in patients. It's as exciting to me now as it was as a naive person at the time when I was watching those shows to see what science can do and what's possible in the lab. Ready, set, ride! So when I did the ride to conquer cancer this year, it was a really motivational experience when you see former patients that are riding, that are thanking you on the ride, and you explain that you're a scientist and that this is sort of what you've dedicated your life to. Everyone has some connection to cancer, whether it's a direct family member or a close friend. There's always someone in your life that has suffered from the disease. We need to find a way that we can prolong their life and not only prolong their life, but prolong the, their quality life and give them hope with tackling the disease and treatments that are effective for them. From my, my perspective, it's the biology that's really going to help us to make those advances.